coming in. You know, you know who we are. Oh, you motherfucker. Oh, man, this is awesome. Yay, she. Boys, we don't have a card. We don't have picks. But we came here to talk. And talk big about, in my opinion, and I don't know about yours, one of the biggest, if not the biggest, name in EOC history. And that is, boys and girls, Royce Gracie. Let's talk about that. JC, you want to say something about this yeah. guy? At least the day that he was born into, because yeah. I don't want to talk so much shit yeah. about this. It's not going to be for at least 30 minutes, fellas. But we, you're going to listen to a couple of facts about this guy, and you're gonna, your mind is going to be blown away. So, yeah. go ahead. First of all, uh, like we have been doing, we have been talking from the past mm -hmm. to the present. So what's the best way to start that talking about the first champion in the UFC history? We already have a video in this channel about the, how the UFC started. So now we are doing the honor to Roy Gracie, the first UFC champion. Okay. So this guy is from Brazil and he was born December 12, 1966. He was the first one that showed to the world the Jiu-Jitsu. So this guy, like I said, was champion in UFC 1, UFC 2, and UFC 4. And he practiced the Jiu-Jitsu and doing it in combat. So that right. was like the biggest one. I'm going to let the dinosaur talk more because he I saw know, it. I first. know a great deal. I mean, I'm, I don't know I much, much, it, much, 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 but I do know a lot about this guy. Let me just say when he won the UFC, I wasn't even born. No, I was in 1993. I was, I was born though. Yeah, I'm a I, fucking dinosaur. That's yeah. what I know about him, man. That's what I'm gonna I talk was, about him. I was born in 1996, so I wasn't even in my, in my five uh, balls. Ah, he fought us not. Yeah. <laughs> he, should, he was shooting up in the air. Woo! All right, friends. So, Royce. Crazy. Listen, first time I heard about UFC, one of the few, first phrases that I saw was, Royce crazy. I saw this man on a white kimono, and he was really serious. And I mean really serious. This guy was not smiling. <laughs> you could see this, the, the intensity of this guy going towards the ring. Mind you, back on USC 1, no rules, no weight, no weight class. Yeah. and multiple fights a night if you wanted to become a champion. In fact, Royce Gracie had to fight three guys and beat them on a single night to become the first UFC champion. So nowadays I see these guys, you know, complaining that they gotta train for to have one motherfucking fight. For eight weeks, like they prepared almost for two nights. Uh, yeah, they, for one motherfucking fight. And they complain. <laughs> and I'm like, motherfucker. Look at Royce Gracie and all of these guys, what they did when the USC was made out of stone. The steel people. Stone, baby. Because, you know, you could be fighting one guy that was actually like 40 pounds lower than you, but then you'd be fighting another dude that was 100 pounds above you. And, <laughs> and three times in one day. Listen, you had like an injury from the fight before. And, and, and you know what's funny? That the rounds were really long. The fights could last and how, 36 fucking minutes. And how was like the rounds? It wasn't like rounds and minutes? Or yeah, there the were. The, the, I, think, uh, I think, no, no. USC was not, it was, I don't, it was not even about rounds. Like they started. It was just the like end. right there. <laughs> Let's go. And yeah. sometimes that shit lasted 30, 36 minutes. Only a fight. He had a, a single fight. The only time that they would get a break is if the, the, the referee would feel like, hey, this guy is spending too much time on the ground and they are not participating, they are not engaging. So he would stand them up and they would just go <laughs> again. But that's it. But thing. like, he the has a better in the morning and finish at the night, no? Because if the whole day for like nothing. Like Dude, le listen, the fact that I found out that Gracie had to fight three guys on a single night to become champion, three months. If, not, if that is not accomplishment, I don't know what you motherfuckers is you know you know what i'm saying because dude listen and the level of fight and the level of, of fighting that he fought because everybody thinks that nowadays you know yeah you, you got access to better equipment and this and that but the fighters back then were they tougher. were brutal they were brutal and there wasn't like rules like you cannot hit on the back of the head and nothing like that yeah you could hear it back of the head it doesn't matter yeah. could you kick in the nut? Oh, no, 
that was the one thing that was actually not very legal. I like things like in the I, ice. No. <laughs> no, man. I mean, there was things like like yeah. the, the, the referee would separate and say, hey, listen, you're going to do this and you're going to do that. But there were blows back in the head and everything. But the point is, Royce. And knees, like if you're knees, down. It, it, knees, yeah. 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 That, that, was, that was straight up legal. And I, I, in my opinion, if you are with one knee on the ground and you're still fighting, that, that should be common. I don't care. Yeah, they are saying that maybe they removed that because now it's, 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 it's I put it like one finger and you can not knee him. Like they are like it, 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 it is shit. Yeah. But let, let's just talk about Mr. Gracie. Let's just get back to the point. Listen, this guy had to be three guys to get to, to become a champion of the, the first champion night. in the UC history and the first Hall of Fame in the UC history. But the guy that he had to beat in the finals, his name was Gerard Bordeaux from Holland. Listen, man. This guy was not, Gerard was not actually uh, very physically imposing. He was not. He was a regular guy, maybe a little bit of belly. Yeah. That's it. Maybe a little bit. But he was just like a dad fighting in there. But as soon as I saw that guy. A world champion of karate. Karate. As soon as I saw him fight, this dude will kick, flying, kick this motherfucker. It was Luke hanging UFC, man. He was punching. He was crazy. This guy was not a joke. But then he comes in, Royce Gracie in the finals. And when Royce Gracie engaged with this guy, and Royce took this guy to the ground, it's like this guy has never fought before on the ground. And Royce Gracie secured the rear naked choke, and at the end of the day, Royce Gracie's hand was lifted as the first USC champion. And he also made sure that his Gracie Jiu Jitsu name and family and, 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 and let's just say legend was seen for the first time by the naked eye. Because everybody kind and not everybody knew you Jesus. Since there was no social media back then, there was no there was no way to to, to populate a, a, a different style, a different uh, different sport. Gracie made sure that we stepped in in the UFC. He made sure he knew he was in TV and they said if my if you this know, style wins something that I wanna say that the longest fight in the UFC history he has it. With Kane Chanbrook, that was thirty-six minutes. minutes yeah. yeah, that's the longest fight in UFC yeah. history. We're gonna talk. About, we're gonna talk about that. But the longest one he had is in Bellator with Sakuraba, ninety minutes. And also, he is the yeah. UFC with more wins in right. the same that the same day with eleven. All right. So let me get back to the point which I completely forgot. So this guy. <laughs> sorry, my bad. No, no, it's alright. So, all right. So, so he made sure that since he knew he was in the spotlight. And everybody was watching for the first time this sport. He knew that if he he, will, he won the tournament, everybody would start respecting you. Jesus, everybody would know about it. And he accomplished that on a single mighty night, fighting three guys and becoming champion. And then now that I that I read about it and that I, I watched a couple of videos and read, I realized why he was so serious. He was out there. To put his family name and the GJ's name. That's why he was serious, he was not laughing. He was there to smack it. He was not there to play games. You could see him now on the street, he's gonna make jokes, probably make jokes, laugh and everything. But when he was there, he said, I'm gonna be the crowd. I'm gonna be the, I, I don't know, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna be. Like, people need to fear me, they need to know that I'm coming. And this man came with a mission and he accomplished that. Just like Thanos did in the Avengers. This guy, <laughs> yeah, this, this, <laughs> listen, I didn't understand Gracie back then, because when I saw him when I was a kid, I was just really mad. I wanted I wanted that guy to get beat up. And then when he submits Kane Shamrock, Kane Shamrock, when Kane Shamrock was in his prime, I would not fight that guy even with both of his hands tied behind his back and me with a stick. I would drop that stick and run for my fucking life. He beat Kane Shamrock the first time they fought. Rare naked show. I was like, how can this rude looking son of a bitch accomplish this? And, and I'm like, it can't, couldn't. I, I was just frustrated. But then I understand the meaning of his silence, the meaning of him being serious. It's because he was on a mission. The man was focused. When you are focused on something, you're going to accomplish something. This guy was out there. He was out there. And like the AAC said, then they then he fought with I mean he was champion on USC one, two, and four. Yeah. And when he fought Ken Shamrock again, it was on USC five. Mm -hmm. 
They fought for 36 minutes. Mm -hmm. Fellas, UFC 36 minutes. Without stop. Without stoppage. Yeah, that's the only thing they will stop is that you know they will separate them if they, they like were not half an hour. they were not being active on the ground. That's, really that's it. But that's no nice. water, no you mind you see, you see, no you, yeah, no you see, you see Gatorade that crap. <laughs> no, no. That, uh, from now on I'm gonna be a lot more aggressive towards the champions. Because if I see them complain, you've been training for three months. And then you don't play for a fight. You're gonna like have a fight. Like and 25 you, minutes. And you, and you have like one minute to, to rest every one round. Yeah, dude. <laughs> like, Royce Gracie just raised the bar for the beat of cat. I'm gonna smash the shit out of you. Do you think that if Royce Gracie like had the rules that we have today, he would be champion? He like would be champion. Longer? Yes, for sure. Like, I, I have no doubt. One fight every six months and with three months, like. <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely. Royce Gracie will be a champion. I'm not gonna say he will be undefeated because Kane Shamrock. I did. I do believe that in the rematch, Kane Shamrock they put the beat the pain on Gracie. And the reason for that, I'm not gonna say that Kane Shamrock was probably on the juice, but <laughs> Kane Shamrock was really strong and he was a really strong wrestler. And wrestling and jujitsu they go hand in hand. If the wrestler is actually really good, it's really tough for the Jiu-Jitsu guys to beat them. And it's quicker, but and it's also for the wrestler to beat them too. Because they spent, Royce Gracie spent most of that fight on his back. And Ken was pounding on him. And he was trying to grab Ken's arm and all that. And trying to grab him, and Ken would not allow it. At that time, like they didn't like test you for steroids. No, no, no. But then, no, no, but... But just... My they, nigga. They like you wouldn't be champion. They like, they, they like... <laughs> De La Cho will be like, oh, so I'm fighting this guy in five minutes, and right then, in the middle of the ring, shh, in the middle of the ring, shh, I'm ready, ah, yeah, <laughs> back then, back then, a lot, a lot of fighters were using it, a lot of fighters were using it, so most of them were using it because they were training in the gym, it gave them an advantage, but some fighters were did using it because they need TRT, you guys know what that is, Belfort, right? Belfort was one of them, but I think Belfort started using it's uh, hard to keep using TRT because he, because sometimes uh, when human beings start using steroids, yeah, they, they stop, they completely go to the system, and now they gotta use small doses, so they, so because their yeah, body's not gonna produce you anymore. Yeah. So that's yeah. why I'm always telling you guys, stay away from that crap I'm because yeah. uh, if you're not educated, edu educated on it, you could be you, something bad could happen to you, right? right? You, you can have problems with your body for the rest of your life. Consult somebody that actually knows a about doctor. this. So even doctors sometimes prescribe TRT to certain people because you probably need it. And some bodybuilders actually use it to a very minimal level that that is kind of safe, quote unquote. But educate yourself first before you start smacking people and being ignorant about it. That's what I would say. Now, what is crazy? Again, listen. That dude, like, then, then he had to go to Bellator. On Bellator, he was a pain in the ass. He was not, he was not easy to deal with. This guy was beating people up and down. Sakuraba fight. I, I don't remember his first name. You can look, you can look it up in there. See if you, because I know his, his, his last name is Sakuraba. I think it's Kenji Sakurawa, something like that. Or it's Gracie versus Sakurawa. Just, and and uh, I fellas. So they go for 90 minutes. Yeah, Kakushi. Kakuchi. Ka Kazuchi. Kazuchi Sakurawa. These guys on 2000, I think it's 2005. No, no, 2000. On 2000, on 2000, they went head to head. Just to prove. 90 minutes. Who was it's the better? <laughs> and it was 90 minutes. Of fighting these guys. 90 minutes, one hour and a half. One hour and a half. That's crazy. That's crazy, bro. That, that's what I'm saying. Like, these guys were on another level. This guy was in a kimono. That guy is crazy. He, 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 he was in his kimono. Ah, another thing. You fellas who want, you really get your, your black belt in two months? <laughs> Guess what's the actual requirement in the Gracie? Uh, in the Gracie. What are the Gracie requirements for you to earn? 
and the black belt. At least, at least, because they're kind of old school. It takes 10 years. So I don't know if you motherfuckers are coming down here in Hialeah and buying that black belt. <laughs> but it actually takes more than that. Because <laughs> every single time, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to trash in the accomplishment on certain fighters because I'm pretty sure it could be possible two or three years. The way Gracie says because it's 10 years is because they want to get to know who they teach it to and who, because that's for them, that's, that's their, their, that's their kind of like an excuse if we want to say it. That for them uh, gives them enough time to realize who they are dealing with. But it, for them, it's a minimum of 10 years. So you feel us um, buying that blood belt uh, uh, in Hialeah. Um, you can put it in the comments. <laughs> now, back to Royce Gracie again. We're talking about her. We're gonna be talking. This is the, the couple of things last I'm gonna talk about. This and that. That was not only a Royce ac accomplishment, though. Royce trained Navy SEALs. He trained CIA agents. He also trained yes celebrities. And we are talking about. Let's just say one is Jim Carrey. You guys didn't know he practiced in yeah. Jesus. No, Don't fuck with know. this guy. <laughs> <laughs> No and he also trained Chuck Norris. You obviously know this guy. <laughs> you know this guy. He ain't to be fucked with. And if he actually gave instructions to Chuck Norris, the guy's dangerous. I mean, if he, if, if him winning you a C1, beating three guys on a single night does not tell you he's dangerous, even though he's 55 years old now. Listen, man, if I don't go walking on one, on one sidewalk, and I see, and I see Royce Gracie, and I say hi to him, and he puts a serious face, and he was in, 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 in 1994, I cross the street. Or I call a black heart from the army, take me away from this motherfucker, gonna kill him, you know? Anyways, listen, uh, jokes aside, this guy, in my opinion, after what I read, and then what I informed myself, uh, it's one of my favorites right now. And uh, not only this he Jujitsu accomplish uh, this, uh, it accomplished more than that. There, there's certain people, like, they went for uh, combat sports like Jujitsu, and they went to him to be trained by him because they were having problems with drugs. They lost everything. They didn't respect their bodies. A lot of fellas, you, you want to do, you want some research? Go to Google. And, and, uh, I'm, I'm not talking here for talk. This is something that uh, that is real. Uh, they went for him because they had, they had, they lost everything, they were on drugs, and Jujitsu actually taught them a lesson and put they them did. back on the road to be a successful business owner. They they accomplished, I mean, uh, they gained back their their confidence, their, their, they, um, their life. Their, their, they, they gained back their life altogether. They were disciplined, and once you, once you are a man that you, or a woman that you are, that you got some discipline back in you, everything else starts clearing up. So Jiu Jitsu uh, and, and the Gracie name should be named at the top of the peak without question. I don't care who it is, but they should be the top of the dock for sure. At least when it comes to legends and how Jiu Jitsu was established, they are. And we're gonna talk about how Jiu Jitsu was established because this is something, even though it's not kind of like, uh, we're gonna be talking about a single fighter, we're gonna be talking about the history of that some other day or some other day. But it's, it's very interesting because I was reading about that. But I want to read more to see where it ends. Because so, I'm kind of, it started, it started in Japan and now it's in Brazil. So there's a lot of surprises in there. So with this, I'm going to say it, fellas. I'm going to wrap it up. You got anything to say? Yeah, like uh, Roy Gracie is one of the greatest. He's not obviously in the, in the gold conversation because that was so, so long that they considered, you know, like the founder of the sport, but like... Yeah, like he's, the, he's, the, he's, a, he's a pioneer. He's a yeah. pioneer of the GG. It's simple as simple as that. Yeah. Simple as that. And uh, yeah, so we guys are going to call it right now and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. hope you guys, if you didn't know, much about this, it opened your eyes, and you're probably gonna be like like a little kid, like like me today in the morning. I'm gonna say shit like that, and and you start finding things out, and it's, it really, it really gave me a lot of satisfaction reading and seeing these videos, and it was amazing. So I catch you guys later. Bye bye. bye, -bye.